Well, good Wednesday morning, everyone. I'm enjoying this week. How about you? I haven't done much study on dreams and vision in my life. And yet, when we read the Bible, we read a lot about them or important times that God used dreams and vision, visions being daytime dreams, many would say, he uses them. And we're going to talk about at the end of this week, how he uses them today. And he is, he is. So you won't, don't want to miss Friday's show. Hey, the last two days, we talked about dreams and visions in the Old Testament. Not that we covered them all. We did not. But we're moving on to the New Testament because there's some very important ones that I know you've read, but I wonder if you've really thought much about them. Well, we want to make sure we're going to highlight them the next couple of days. Now, in the New Testament, God used them especially to identify Jesus, to make sure he was known to people, and to establish his church. And we're going to especially look at those visions and dreams tomorrow. But today, let's just center on Jesus and those visions, well, a couple of them around him. The first one is found in Luke chapter 1, and it's about an old priest named Zechariah. And Zechariah and his wife, Elizabeth, had not had children. And they were old, kind of like uh, Abraham. Not that old, I don't think. But anyway, in Luke chapter 1, well, let me just read it. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to Zechariah, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. He he had gone into the temple. He was the one chosen uh, to give the offering that day. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled, and he was gripped with fear. You might be also, huh? I, I know I, I just haven't seen many angels, and neither had Zechariah. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son. And he goes on to say that that son would be John the Baptist. Dropping down to verse 18, Zechariah asked the angel, Well, how can I be sure of this? I'm an old man, and my wife is well along in years. And the angel said, I am Gabriel, I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to speak to you and tell you this good news. And it was great news. Can't you imagine the way that uh, Zachariah reacted? But how will he know that it's true? Well, then the angel said something that wasn't so easy for him to accept. And now you will be silent and not able to speak until the day this happens, until the day that your baby is born. Because because you did not believe my words, which will come true at the proper time. So even as he had this vision of the angel, he didn't express great faith. And as a result, he lost his ability to speak. And that, if you read on, that is exactly what happened. Wow. Wow. It's absolutely amazing that God used a vision of an angel. And that was announcing the birth of John the Baptist. And what did John the Baptist do? He paved the way for Jesus. He is the one, you know, later on, 30 years later, he announced the coming of the Messiah. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, John the Baptist said. And he was right. Now, one vision or dream that, that I know that you're you're very familiar with uh, 
is the dream that Joseph, the wife of Mary, the uh, stepfather, yeah, of Jesus, had. Because remember, when, when Mary heard that she was going to be pregnant, or when she was pregnant by the Holy Spirit, that would be hard for her fiancé. Now, they took fiancé much more serious than we do. It was a, almost as if they were already married. And, and Joseph, when he heard that Mary was pregnant, he reacted like any of us would until, until uh, Matthew chapter 1 at verse 20. And, and he it says, but after he considered this, Joseph, because that was shocking that Mary was pregnant. But here's, here's the key. An angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid. Take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. And she will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. What a dream. What a dream God gave Joseph in such detail, too. Did you catch all that detail? He not only, Joseph obviously believed this dream was from God because he does take Mary. He does, they do have a son. They do name him Jesus, which means Savior because he will save his people from their sins. That is, I mean, I've had some dreams. I often can't remember my dreams. I don't know if you can. But obviously Joseph was able to remember this dream. And he acted on it. And it was, it was so important so that Jesus would be born and Joseph and Mary would be his parents. This wasn't the last dream that Joseph had. <laughs> Later on, uh, Joseph has a dream that basically saves their lives. What am I talking about? Well, in Matthew chapter 2, uh, he another dream of Joseph's is recorded. At verse 13, it says, <laughs> and this is right after the, 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 the wise men left. And uh, Herod, of course, was trying to find the, the new king, the Messiah. And he wanted to kill him, didn't he? Verse 13. When they, that is the wise men, had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Joseph had another key dream. And it's a, and the, in the dream, the angel said, Get up, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. It was through a dream that God, in his sovereignty, spared Jesus and probably Mary and Joseph too. But it only would be true if Joseph acted on that dream. And guess what? He did. And they went to Egypt. God speaks through dreams and visions. I wish I had time. There's some, many, many others. But we're going to look at two tomorrow that basically establish the church in the way that we know it today. God bless. I look forward to talk, studying the Bible with you again tomorrow. See you then. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give.